Hey guys, I'm halfway, more than halfway, I think. Um, but I want to tell you what I've learned so far. Okay, first and foremost, I have really short legs. I knew that before, but I'm seeing now all these people don't have to put in all this effort. And I feel like, um, do you guys remember in Tom and Jerry, when Jerry the mouse had his little nephew and it was a little tiny mouse, but his legs moved really fast? I feel like that's what I'm having to do. Um, okay, so that was number one. Number two, I learned that um, I've worn a thin spot in the sole of my shoe, so I will have a blister. Number three, I learned that you need to make sure your shoes are tight and that you have double knots before you start. Um, there are so many people here that I've wanted to take pictures of to remember them because they have limitations, but they're not letting that stop them. So it's one of those things where it's like, well, you know what, if they can do it, why can't somebody else, you know, like, why are we, there's a guy, I want to say he had, um, I don't know if it's cerebral palsy or what it's called. Um, when, it, when your gait is a little bit lopsided and your, your hands and your arms can't straighten, he's out here doing it. There's older people out here doing it. Um, there's kids out here doing it. I mean, it's craziness. Um, and I just got so super emotional. Y'all know I'm emotional anyway. But the volunteers here are amazing. And we got to the halfway mark. I'm assuming that's what it was because they had the water table. And our names are on our bibs. And the one lady, I mean, obviously anybody can see my name. She didn't know who I was, but she looked me square in the eye and she said, Jenny, you're doing a great job. Keep it up. And the other lady said, you guys are doing great. Even though you're walking, you guys are doing great. Keep it up. And I just started crying because here are these strangers telling me I'm doing a good job. I don't know anybody out here. Well, I did run into somebody, but I came out here on my own. The reason I signed up for this was because there's a show on A&E about, um, it's a reality show, um, about young adults with Down syndrome, and the one girl is trying to lose weight, and so she looked up a 5K in her area because the prize at the end of the 5K was a donut, and she wanted that treat, and I thought, you know what? there's someone that you would think has limitations and that is told throughout her life that she can't do things and here she is proving everybody wrong and the devil was in, in full force today trying to keep us home the baby has a diaper rash we got about four hours of sleep it's been a long time I mean it's been a long night but I'm not going to let that stop us. I was listening to a podcast by the um, founder of our team, Vito Lafada. He's amazing. He'll get you pumped to do anything, but um, now I'm listening to Christmas music. My battery is draining so fast, so I love you guys. I just wanted to share with you what I'm learning. This is such a mental like a race, not just physical, so... I love you all. Thank you so much for supporting me over and over again. You amaze me how wonderful you are to me. So I love you and be looking for my picture um, when I'm done. Bye, guys.